Uh, Javier Canales, welcome. Uh, much has been written and commented about the death of Hugo Chavez. With a little bit of perspective now, what do you think the most important implications of his passing are for the Americas? Well, um, what we can already tell is that we have the case of a left-wing radical populist government that came to the end of a chapter in some kind of a political honeymoon. Um, many times similar experiences in Latin America of left-wing populists with a strong military bent end up in some kind of a political disaster for, for, for that movement. But in Venezuela what we see is that the movement is strong. And um, per, the question is will it remain strong without Chavez or not? But this is in important to know because Chavismo is a movement that is bigger than what it is in Venezuela. It has adherents all throughout Latin America. And to know that Chavismo is still strong in Venezuela means that its offshoots elsewhere are likely to also continue to draw energy as well as inspiration for Venezuela. So it is interesting in that we see the end of a chapter of Latin America's populism that does not end in political calamity. Uh, and, and, and therefore, uh, uh, it might yield new and interesting episodes in Venezuela and elsewhere of this type of uh, political ideology. Uh, this flies in the face of what some have said, uh, that because the movement is so personalist, uh, it, it is tied up with Chavez. And in effect, if I understand you correctly, you're pointing out that this is likely to go forward in Venezuela and as a result in other countries as well. Yes. Um, the movement is absolutely personalist, and this is perhaps its biggest weakness. However, what I was trying to convey is the notion that the followers don't feel any type of guilt, any type of remorse, any type of sensation that they need to rectify their ways. Uh, if anything, the whole process of Chavez passing away served to as, as a moment for them to reaffirm their faith. So uh, yes, it is any movement that is so dependent on a person is always precarious. You would like to have the institutional grounding. But the followership here is, um, is, is quite strong and it has survived. It has survived, frankly, what is not necessarily the best performance in government. No, I mean, uh, I, I could go on and on about all the failings of the administration. And this is what is so remarkable, that despite these governance failings, the followership of Chavismo within Venezuela and outside uh, uh, is quite strong. And uh, his legacy will survive uh, for, for uh, um, one more generation at least. Thank you very much, Javier Corrales. My pleasure. Thank you.